Hello there friends, welcome again to Nanaba's Kitchen. And if you joined us for the first time today, I want to say a very warm welcome to you and thank you so, so much for stopping by. On the menu today is our long overdue, long awaited cauliflower banco. Simple recipe, easy to replicate and talking about replicating uh, these recipes that I provide. If you end up doing so, you can go onto Facebook and look for Chop Time Yes Friends. It is a group that I have created for all of us to be able to gather there and interact through food and connect more through food. So your short videos, your pictures, even of your own recipes that you would like to share, this is a group where we can talk more about you also, not just me all the time. So make sure you visit Chop Time Yes Friends and I will make sure that I leave the name of the, the Facebook group down below in the description box. So let's get our hands washed and begin. So let's talk about the ingredients really quickly. I have a head of cauliflower here. This is a fresh one as you can see now. If you have the frozen, that will work perfectly also. I also have sauerkraut. Now let's talk a little bit about sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is fermented or pickled cabbage, which comes from the same family as cauliflower. Obviously you all know cabbage also is a vegetable. So this is what is going to give us that famous popular um, sour tangy banku, fermented banku taste. So here we go and we only need a quarter cup of that. Now for our binder, we are going to be using oatmeal. Yes, this is a cupful of oatmeal, which is equivalent to 300 healthy calories with emphasis on the word healthy because oatmeal is known to lower bad cholesterol. It is very nutritious and also healthy, packed with a lot of fiber. So here's a head of cauliflower. What I'm doing now is just prepping it. I am going to be blending it into a very smooth puree. So I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces so it fits nicely into my blender to aid the blades of my blender to blend it perfectly. And next we are going to run some tap water on our cauliflower to get it completely and thoroughly cleaned. And then we're going to combine all of our ingredients in the blender and just blend so we have that smooth puree and begin cooking our cauliflower banco. Now, as I mentioned before, the sauerkraut, which is fermented cabbage, is going to bring up as that classic fermented taste of the original uh, banco recipe. Now, for those of you who don't know what banco is, it is a West African dish which usually accompanies several different soups, stews, sauces, grilled meats, and seafood. So you would eat banku the same way you would have, for instance, mashed potatoes. It is sticky, starchy, and it has a, an intense fermented taste, and it's originally made from fermented corn. And at times we would add fermented cassava or yucca to it as well. So we're trying to mimic its texture and taste. Hence the inclusion of the sauerkraut. Now sauerkraut is made with a lot of salt to get that fermentation going. So therefore we do, we do not need to add any salt to our banco. Now friends, in talking about how this recipe came together, my goal originally was to reduce the starchy carbohydrates and the calories in preparing the original banco recipe. 
So I was using the actual banku dough as my bander. What I did was increase the cauliflower itself and decrease the banku dough. And then eventually I graduated into using a healthier binder, which is now the oatmeal. And also to obtain that sour fermented taste, I even used lime and lemon juice at some point as well. So that is an alternative. That also works beautifully in this recipe. So in the absence of the sauerkraut, you can definitely use an acidic juice. It could even be white vinegar. Now if you don't care about the actual taste of it, then you can absolutely omit that. It The texture is just perfect. That it is just like the banku itself. So what I did was cook the banku for 12 minutes total. It doesn't take long for oatmeal to cook through and obviously the cauliflower doesn't take long at all. And then I let it sit and rest and then it, it toughens up. It becomes firmer as you can see here. So I let it cool down and now I'm serving it. Just look at that texture. It is soft just as banku is supposed to be. And the taste, just try the recipe. You'll come back later and thank me. So I served it with my oven grilled mackerel and I chopped up some vegetables. I added some uh, fresh red pepper or shito and I also included my famous which I have a recipe on the video to that is also uploaded and it is linked below in the description box now look at the texture of the banku perfect and beautiful it was delicious I would like for you to try this recipe come back please with your feedback Post pictures in the short videos on Chop Time, Yes Friend, on Facebook. Please check the description box below. Thank you for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.